In April 1986, the Chernobyl nuclear power plant suffered a catastrophic meltdown. The resulting explosion released some of the reactor core into the atmosphere, creating the worst nuclear accident in the history of the planet. The subsequent radioactive fallout, some of which fell as far away as Wales in England, resulted in an exclusion zone being formed around Chernobyl. Today, the Chernobyl exclusion zone covers an area of 1,000 square miles. This includes an area that was once home to 120,000 people, most of whom lived in the now abandoned cities of Pripyat and Chernobyl. The exclusion zone remains in place as the area is considered too contaminated for residential or agricultural use. Apart from a handful of radiation hotspots, the Chernobyl exclusion zone has now become a comparatively safe area to visit, as long as you're staying for a short time. Due to significant interest in the area, in particular from local wildlife, as well as the unique biodiversity there, the Chernobyl exclusion zone was officially declared a tourist attraction in 2011. And with the successful installation of a new sarcophagus, which will seal the damaged reactor for 100 years, the disaster site is about to see renewed activity. In fact, they've now installed solar panels in the exclusion zone, which have enough power for thousands of homes. Built in the contaminated area, which remains an uninhabitable. The two megawatt solar plant provides renewable energy, making use of contaminated toxic land that would otherwise sit destitute. One of the best, absolute best things about solar energy is that we can make use of land that is completely devoid of use, either poisoned, landfill, or Old Coal Ash Sites. Hello, my friends, and welcome to the channel on the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back, everyone else. Thank you for tuning in. It's great to have more subscribers coming on board, and it's great to see everyone else. Now, I want to say, I want to see all of you. would love to meet all of you in person at either Sydney, San Diego, or London next year at the Fully Charged Show. If you're going to be at Sydney, it'll be in March. And I'll put a link in the description below and a promotion code so you can get a 10% discount on tickets. That'll be the first show. The second that I'll be at will be in London. That'll be the following month. And then I'll be in San Diego in October. It's going to be a fantastic year. And these shows I'm really, really excited for. Within the past 12 months, there's been a really cool thing happening. And no one is really talking about it, but they should be. Solar panels have been deployed all over the world at a rapidly escalating pace. One of the reasons for this is because solar energy is becoming more efficient and therefore the cost has continued to come down. However, one of the brilliant things about solar is that we can now use land that we couldn't use for anything at all before. Landfill, old dump sites, Toxic wastelands, coal sites, they're all being used to put solar panels on. In Tennessee, a $216 million pilot project will repurpose a 300-acre, completely useless to anyone else, coal ash storage pit into a 100-megawatt solar farm at the Shawnee Fossil Plant around 10 miles northwest of Kentucky. The solar farm, which TVA officials say will be operational within two years, will connect to the transmission infrastructure already in place at the 1,700 acre coal plant. This is genius because not only is this land useless, it's a wasteland, it's already got the infrastructure so that you can just directly connect the solar panels to the actual transmission wires, the cables, it's all there, it's all set up. It's genius. I love it. It's dual purpose. Basically, they don't need to build any infrastructure and they can repurpose this wasteland 
Officials say this model will be used at other closed Tennessee Valley coal ash sites with a capacity of 1,000 megawatts combined if they're to pursue that expansion. This makes solar even cheaper than what we think, right? If we can use land that's completely useless to anyone else and use existing transmission lines, then it means the actual cost is cheaper than what it would otherwise appear. TVA is a federally owned utility corporation that provides electricity for business customers and local power distributors that serve nearly 10 million people in parts of seven southeastern states in the United States. TVA receives no taxpayer funding at all, deriving all of its revenues from electricity sales. It also manages nearly 300,000 acres of land that could potentially be tapped to use solar. Another brilliant use of solar that I've seen lately is here in Australia. A lot of farmers are putting solar panels in their farms because it's giving their animals shelter. It's serving the dual purpose of giving their animals shelter. And also it's earning them an income. And this kind of thing is being done now all throughout the world. Another example, in France now, parking lots with roofs on them all have to have solar panels on the roofs. Why waste the space when you can use it? Here in Australia, solar energy is absolutely rocketing. It's going crazy. One state in Australia, on a number of different days, was able to use 100% solar energy on the grid. Another state has just hit 82%. Another state is about to hit 50%. Solar energy, my friends, is actually cheaper than what we realize when you consider the fact that we're using land and roofs that aren't being used. It's like taking something that's completely useless and turning it into something that not only provides us with energy, but also gets rid of bit by bit those coal power stations and gas power stations. I think it's not gonna be long before fossil fuels are dead. Now, what I wanna know is what are your thoughts on that? How long do you think it'll take before the entire world has moved away from fossil fuels to renewable energy. I believe it will definitely happen. I could be wrong though. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.